conversation begins with the messenger, Henry Sanders. It absolutely does. As a young boy, Henry understood that he wanted gold bigger than any high school kid should chase. So he moved to the Olympic Training Center, and he trained with me as I was getting ready for the Olympic team prior as a little kid because he knew winning an NCAA title wasn't enough for him. Ultimately, he became Olympic champion, the youngest in U.S. history, and now he's the UFC champion. What a career by Henry Cejudo. Well, he has successfully defended the title, and that is the goal in front of him yet again tonight. The UFC's bantamweight champion of the world. And not only does he believe he is the best right now, he believes he is the best 135-pound fighter of all time. If you want to be in that class tonight, certainly one this young man has got to have. Our tail of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. Sterling is 31, Cejudo is 33. Sterling will have a seven inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. It's who the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, presenting the challenger, Henry the Messenger to who And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Uniondale, New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. Master Sterling! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. Sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. 
He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Sterling getting work here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half court. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more, oh, nice headlock. Oh, nice. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Somehow stays in the fight. Zahudo's got the full mount. I mean, how many can he take? Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Attacking on bar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. work out of him here tonight. He had to work for it, no doubt about it, but a nice job to isolate and ultimately secure the arm and then get the tap from the arm bar. So a pretty submission finish turned in by that fighter here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. All right, so there he is, the man they are all chasing at 135 pounds, your UFC Bantamweight World Champion, and what a way to get it done tonight with the submission win. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. King of the Bantamweights. Big result here tonight as he submits the previous champion emphatically to become the new king in the Bantamweight division. The celebration is on in the corner, and that is not a celebration that's going to be stopping anytime soon.